If you want the tea, I can give it seriously. Talking about your favorite web series. Right here on Seriously. Seriously. Just relax, relax. We got recaps. We got recaps. Bring your mind and have a good time. He said $50. Hello. Okay. okay, I think that's his way of saying shut up <laughs> and just do the damn episode. <laughs> you felt that? It was late, yeah. <laughs> Y'all lollygagging. Y'all can start whenever. <laughs> he keeps saying with a bass, too. Y'all can start. Brendan, stop it. <laughs> um, hey, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, y'all. Come on Come in. on. Come in on the room. In. Come on in. Um, welcome to Seriously Podcast. Take a load off. I'm Mary. Oh, I'm Brittany. And we're Seriously Podcast. We recap web series here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we're do. doing a show called Tough Love. Tough Love. It's a daytime Emmy nominated web series. We All can't right. say it enough. We're just so proud of them. So um, we're super proud. Oh my God. So and it's well deserved. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. So before we get into the episode, guys, make sure you're following us on all social media platforms so you don't miss out on any of the good juiciness that we like to drop every now and then. Okay. All right. You're subscribed to our SoundCloud, our iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. However you get this, subscribe. Of course. And more importantly... Check out our official website. Right. We official out here. Official, okay. Seriouslypodcast.com. All right, okay. join our mailing list. Yes. Um, so you'll get some cl- exclusive information if you join our mailing list. Mm-hmm. Um, some, some, you know, insights, some creator exclusives, you know? We're all about the exclusives here. We're all about the exclusives. So make sure you join the, the squad. Squad. The f- the seriously squad don't miss out okay so uh, what are we doing today we are doing season three episode two of tough love tough love (laughs) (laughs) we hope you guys liked our first um recap Mm -hmm. so proud that this is another episode that's more than 30 minutes. Yes, they are giving it I was it really to expecting us. it to be just, you know, the premiere and the finale. And right. Then in go- between, like, 20, 25 minutes. But they're like, no, we're giving you a show. We're giving you, okay, a full 40 minutes on them, okay? <laughs> we're, we're giving you a show. I love it. Details, love details, it. details, details. <laughs> and I'm here for so it. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank we act, you. I mean, the people asked for a longer episode. They sure did. And they said, you know what? They said, fine. Here you go. Y'all, got, y'all asked for it, right? All right. So, and I thank you. Thank you, Ronnie and Kayla. We, really, we really appreciate it because this gives us more to talk about. Exactly. And we love the show so much that we enjoy talking about it. Exactly. So let's talk about it. Let's do it. Um, so let's get into episode two of season three of Tough Love. love lonely starts off Quincy is a vlogger if you will He's vlogging giving you a story snapchatting a story no one asked for <laughs> for being honest <laughs> I mean listen he wanted to tell us so I, I don't mind so he he's telling a story about what was the story about Right he's talking about his mother and how she was a stay-at-home mom and mm-hmm. i was i wasn't surprised i'm like look at your dad we met your dad <laughs> last year you think he would have it any other way <laughs> of course she's a stay-at-home mom but he later found out that she actually had a dream yeah she to, had like, a dream be more than just a stay-at-home mm-hmm. mom she gave it up she gave it up for him for the right family there. life yes so um, we're at the luncheon the, the meeting lunch and the lunch and learn the lunch and learn <laughs> And they watch the video. Monica and Jordan instantly are like, I don't, I don't, so <laughs> I'm understanding. Like, how is this going to, how, is this your big plan? Like, what is this? Glad you asked. So we all know that the internet has given millions of people the ability to make money independently. Well, I think it's time we got a piece of that pie. You're going to create for us our own media channel on YouTube. It'll be called Secret Confessions. 
everyone was like, all right, that's a good idea. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Everyone but Alicia. She was the only one that was a bit skeptical. Like, yeah. I guess I'll do she it. She don't want nothing to do with Quincy. Yeah. She's tired of him even talking. Like, what do you... I don't want to be involved. Yeah, I mean, it is a good idea, but at the same time, I'm like, so y'all just going to continue to tell your personal business? Right. Like, but because y'all were mad that people, people were tweeting knew about, about your business. So now you're going to tell them more? Like, are you aware of how much you're exposing yourself? You're going to be changing your lives like forever like yeah what if you become like such big celebrities like there's no privacy anymore nope 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 so um jordan being beyond petty she's like (laughs) so shady (laughs) too bad your boy can't make videos from jail from the big house (laughs) i said it (laughs) and quincy's like uh speaking of monica he says hello (laughs) by the way Monica just like, okay, okay, that's nice. Tell him I said quit calling me. Stop. About and that? I'm off to see my man yes. at his job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so Alicia, she's leaving too, and Quincy's like, I can walk with you. <gasps> right. Um, uh, can I walk you to the train? So now we left with Jay and Jay over here. JJ. JJ. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Jordan says, you know, your boy won't give it a rest, huh? And Jackson's like, your girl won't give him an answer. So they're going back and forth. But and mind you, Jordan didn't even wait until they were fully out the door before she's like, he can't, he can't wait, give her an answer. Then I tell you she's on 10 at all times. <laughs> so she's like, um, first of all, she'll do what she wants to, all right? Whenever mm-hmm. she's ready to give an answer, she'll do it, all right? He, he was, was the one. He was a thought just a few minutes ago. Thought and then bopping. And now he want to talk about, he walking, he ready to walk down the aisle. Oh, please. Boy, bye. All right? <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> And Jackson's like, yeah, I mean, it sounds crazy, but they love each other. So, girl, you just want her to be single like you're a miserable ass. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, um, I bet you want some of me, though. Right, I bet you miss, you miss this, this miserable ass. All right. He's cool. looking like, I don't mind sampling. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, she caught him all the way off guard. Right. Okay? He wasn't ready for that. Jordan had him stuck. He was like, uh, 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 mm. Lake couldn't even move. <laughs> he had but, nothing to say. But she's like, but keep dreaming. And then she leaves. And I'm like, y'all paid the bill, right? <laughs> Wait, who paid? Who y'all paid not going to leave it with Jackson? Because <laughs> we're not sure if he's really if he working. Has a job. And that's not nice, guys. That's not nice. <laughs> uh, we don't really know. Maybe it was all paid for. Maybe Quincy held it down. Maybe. Quincy? Mm, I don't know. I don't Quincy's know. an intern. <laughs> But, yeah, there's definitely some flirtation, Mm -hmm. tension between Jackson and Jordan. So let's see where that leads us. Okay, so um, next scene, Joseph, he got some random guy in Jordan's house. Emphasis on Jordan's house. You out of line. You out of line. (laughs) I don't think Joseph realized that this is not his place. And he's on a very thin ice living here. Yeah. So he got way too comfortable, way, way too, too quick. quick. Way, it's too soon. So this guy, he's telling Joe Joseph about his last um, heist, <laughs> um, <laughs> robbing some lady house of all her diamonds and jewels. So and Joseph is just writing in his diary. I feel like yeah, he is. He's like, oh, that's crazy. That's so crazy. today, what? my friend came over. Like, <laughs> but I don't know the way. He, so obviously, this friend is about that life. So I don't think Joseph is making the right decision by hanging out with this guy. Maybe it's one of his homies, but you just got out of jail. Mm-hmm. And if you're on parole and you get caught hanging with somebody that got a record or something like that, you back. You're in going the jail. back. You, you're you going, going back. right back. Cellmates with Darius. Yeah, that's it. So behave yourself. Come on, come on. So next scene, we see Quincy and Alicia. They're walking, and he's like, I think I'm just going to chill on Big Apple and just focus on the channel. Yeah, he basically gave her his two weeks notice. But <laughs> Quincy, that channel ain't making no type of money yet. How you how you sure you want to quit Big Apple? Mm-hmm. You still have rent to pay. Who's paying the rent? <laughs> he so said, cute. you know, basically, the company is yours. It is, basically. Yeah. And, you know, she makes all the big decision, and he's just, like, the errand boy. What's the problem? Right. And we said that last episode. We was like, he's just the intern. That's all you it. do. What's that, what happened? What's wrong? Alicia is like, I didn't even know you felt this way. You didn't speak up? You didn't say nothing. When I said, when I told you to make copies, you ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, why don't you just ask, you know, your friends to help you with it? She's like, you know, they went back to their lives. They're not really trying to run Big Apple. I'm like, girl, no one is. <laughs> no I'm surprised this company is still around look at nobody wants to work there. right concierge what do you do i don't, I don't get it i don't know 
Um, so then he's gonna say, plus me working there is a conflict of interest. He hit her with the conflict of he... interest. <laughs> and she looked at him like, You really trying it. You're said, truly trying me right now. He said, I want you and I want you to want me again. You sure you don't want to be held? You sound desperate and it's not attractive. <laughs> well, you obviously weren't thinking about what we had when you were being called to me. When you quickly decided to go back to your old ways. Remember? Yeah. Just a few months ago, you made me feel like trash. Like I wasn't even worthy of your love. And now what, you're going to press me for an answer to a half-assed proposal? Alicia, if the answer is no, just tell me it's no. But so at this point, I'm like, so you're not going to apologize to what she just said? No, that's, yo. It's like the words are going yo, through one ear and out the other. When I tell you this scene took me back to a personal <laughs> situation... I said, I had to pause it. I said, no. She's stressed over here, y'all. I said, uh uh-uh. Eyes closed, <laughs> nose all bridged up. What's, what's up with you? <laughs> because they these guys act like that. They do a, they don't apologize. They just want you to forget everything. Like, okay, that was before. Yeah. This is now. Like, give me an answer. No, I st- I'm still mad about yeah. before. You need to understand that. So he's like, um, but I kind of get what he's saying about like give him an answer so he don't have to wait around. I guess. Right. But she's like, I don't even know what the answer is. I yeah, don't know I if can't. It's no. I can't tell you right now. I, don't I just know if it's literally yes. cannot. So then he hits her with the, um, "Are you seeing somebody, sir? <laughs> sir, <laughs> you're just going from one thing to the next. Like, yes. What? Get out of my business. First, you said, well, let me know." If it's a yes or a no. Mm-hmm. Now you talking about, well, are you seeing somebody? Like, because it's like, if you can't give me an answer, that means you're seeing somebody. So that's what he's, he's trying, trying to like out. get around the question. Mm-hmm. So he's she said, like, I gotta go. But before she does, you know, he asked her for a kiss. And I'm like, wait, what? And she, she nodded her head. She yes. got caught up. Caught up. And they had a moment. They did. She's weak, though. So the answer's yes. <laughs> so the answer I'll is I'll marry yes. you next week. <laughs> next, let's set the date. <laughs> But it's like, you know, girls, like, we be so mad. And it's like, oh, but I still have feelings for you. But yeah. I'm still mad. Right. But I still like you. But I'm <sighs> mad. So frustrating. <sighs> Relatable, I guess. So Jason, um, he's at a photo shoot, and most mm-hmm. of the women are in revealing clothes, like okay. little lingerie pieces. Right. That are no lingerie pieces. Yeah. And Monica walks in like, what's this? <gasps> what kind of Hugh Hefner? <laughs> type of mess is this <laughs> and he introduces her to elise the creative director but mind you with. i just want to point out some behavioral things okay so jason comes up to her he says hey baby kisses her on the lips he's happy to see her there was no sign of shady behavior or sneaky action let's keep that in mind okay yes 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 he was very upfront about this is like i love I, this is my woman right and so when he introduced her to the woman the, uh, elise the stupid chick gonna say, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. <laughs> right. It's so nice to meet you. I didn't know you were. And he looking at her like, bitch, girl, who? Okay. <laughs> why, why are you even making that a point to say? So let me stop here. What I told y'all about their happiness. It was going ha- to happen, right? It I starts know. right here. <laughs> right here, it starts. So Monica was looking like, word? Yeah, that good, was an instant red flag to her. Good to know. But, she, you know, she keeps her composure and keeps it cute in front of the woman. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, she's, like, a little surprised about, you know, basically her setting. And he tells her, you know, it's normal for the models to change out in the open. And she's like, yeah, but I don't want them to do that in front of you, like, in, around you. And he finds it a little cute that, you know, she's a little jealous. Yeah. I'm not jealous. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I just think it's disrespectful for you to be in a relationship and still think it's cool to be around naked girls. Hold on. I don't think it's cool. I think it's my job to attend photo shoots of clothing lines I partner with. Even I said, Monica, the boy is working. The boy <laughs> is working. He said, I think it was on my job. He's like, you know, I was talking to someone, very professional conversation. I saw you come in and I came towards you. And she said, yeah, but you were talking to a woman that doesn't even know about me. He's like, I don't talk to her about my personal life. I don't know her. <laughs> All she know is the numbers in my app, investors in the company, and the business. I don't know her like that. I don't know her like that. She only know the business side of things. That's all she needs to know. That's it. Monica acting like she called him in like a hotel room with video vixens. Like that's the Darius life that she was living. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it's clear that Monica has trust issues based off her relationship with Darius because if this was Darius, by this time he would be. So he would be in the closet somewhere with one of these girls. Talking okay? about it wasn't me. <laughs> nah, 
but now, we found it's not, it's not what you it's not what it looks like uh, but you're having sex with this woman right now <laughs> nah nah that's not really me nah she fell <laughs> So she leaves basically like I'm not even gonna deal with this. Mm-hmm. She big man. So um so Joseph done turned Jordan's apartment into a studio. Literally. Okay. He done turned it into the a straight up studio session. He laying down tracks, hot fire, if you will, okay? He rapping about he just got out of jail for an ounce of weed, but like the slaves, he finally free. I said, No, you didn't. I said, No, do not bring the slaves into Don't this. Don't you dare compare yourself to a damn slave. <laughs> Don't you do it, sir. Have a seat. Oh my gosh. So, um, so Jordan comes in like what the, the one heck who pays is this? the bills. The one whose house this is. Yeah. She comes in wanting answers. And he had the nerve to say, like, you can't just walk up on me like that. I'm in a session. What? I'm sorry. Excuse me? Oh, gosh. You're too comfortable. Way too comfortable. Way too quick. So he's, and he's talking about, oh, the people been waiting on this. The on fans this is waiting for JoJo. <laughs> for they Joe were waiting Joe. for JoJo to come out with a new hot fire. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jordan was not even impressed. She said, I don't care who's waiting for anything. Like, come on. I'm not supporting this little rap dream. No, no. And who the hell is this? (laughs) Who this fool? (laughs) Next time you need to ask me before you turn this, my home, into your little studio, Mm -hmm, okay? mm -hmm. Like, but Joseph should have known that. Like, it was a hassle for her to even let you sleep on her couch. You think she's going to let you have people in her house and be doing a session? Yeah, I'm like, I understand you're you're upset and embarrassed, but you acting like you don't know who Jordan is. like, uh, And it seemed like she'd been acting this way for years. There's no way you to... thought that she would be proud of you no. when, if she came home and you over here rapping in her living room. Like, did he, did he think she was going to come in? Oh, my God. Yes, finally. The yes. hot fire. Ba- baby, bro, I'm so proud of <laughs> yes, you. Yes, bro. Let me sing vocals. No. no. <laughs> you're lucky she didn't kick you out. <laughs> like, you're on thin ice, bro. This is strike what, one. What's this wrong is strike with you? One. This is definitely what is strike wrong with one. you? Mm. Okay, so next scene... Jackson is kind of, I feel like he's tired of Quincy talking about Alicia. <sighs> he's like, I told you, give her time. Like, I'm Jackson, telling you. you're no therapist. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, Quincy, why do you keep going to this guy for he's the answers? He's not the one. He don't have the he's answers. He's not the one. Um, and then he's like, you know, she's not the type to move on or be on a date. You act like you know her like that. How you would don't. you know her more than the guy that was dating her for like five years? Because jokes on both of y'all. Because she's <laughs> dating, okay? Stop underestimating this yes! woman. Don't she's you, reclaiming her time. What are you what, talking about? You don't know what she's capable of. Come what are you on. talking about? Come on. So Jackson's um, phone rings, and it's Mama Jackson, and she's sounding like hysterical on the phone. Mm-hmm. Um, we can't really make it out first, but then you hear, he's dead, he's dead. So... His dad passed away. Daddy's gone, yeah. So Jackson's trying to p- process it because it's like, wow, my dad's dead. Because mm-hmm. we know they don't have the best relationship. Yeah. But that's still his dad. Right. So it, it hit him hard. Mm-hmm. So he, he's going to go see his mom. And that was sad. Yeah, that was. So we're going to definitely see how this affects his life mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. his relationship with his mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Alicia's at home twisting her hair up, about to go to bed. So no, this, no. It was a twist and vent session, okay? She and the mirror going off. Talking talking to herself about going what she should have said to Quincy earlier, but she didn't. Because she was too busy making out. <laughs> and she's nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Art Dude, his real name is Riles, but we're going to just call him Art Dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, he calls her, and, you know, she answers, but with no amusement in her she's voice. She's over him. She just said hello. Mm-hmm. He said, I see you're real busy since, since you had a good accent. I see you're real busy since you haven't responded to any of my texts. So she, <laughs> um, and she's like, because all your messages are about sex, and yeah, I don't I, have time for that. I wasn't entertaining that. Like, what do you want me to say to that? Oh, don't be like that. What are you doing tonight? Let me feed you. Come get a bite to eat. <laughs> and then maybe you could be my dessert. Oh, I'm my like, God. You're not giving up. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So she's like, okay, hashtag free meal, basically. Basically. So she's like, so she goes. Um, so next we see Monica and Jordan. Um, they're on the phone. They get ready to go out to Uber Bay's jazz show. Mm-hmm. And Jordan's talking about freakum dress and meeting. She coming guys. through ready to slay the girl. Like, I'm gonna have the girls at legs out, <laughs> butt out, what? 
And Monica's like, you must be really feeling him if you're trying to come show out like that. Yes, like, okay, I see you. She's like, girl, please. He fine, but I ain't checking for him. Right. I'm but trying I- to see who else is there. <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to get my start in five. <laughs> But I thought it was kind of weird that Jordan asked Monica to go and not Alicia. Like, if it was supposed to be, like, a singles girls out. I feel like Jordan and uh, Monica are more closer to each other. You think so? Yeah, Alicia, maybe because she was always, like, in a relationship. So it's not, it's like, you don't think right away, oh, let me yeah. call Alicia. It's more so, let me call Monica. Because they was always. Always together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they lived together before. True. Before Alicia came. Mm-hmm. So Monica is picking out her look for the night and Jason's like, wow. So you really about to leave the house mad in a freakum dress? Like you really about to be out here eliminating <laughs> on your Beyonce ish right now? Like this is what you really trying to do? She ignored him. She was still mad. And he was like, all right, bet. Have fun. Have a good night. It's like six o'clock. Have a good night. That's how you know they mad. So she's like, look, I need to work on my trust issues. I know that. I'll admit that my last situation messed up, messed me up in the head. I'm sorry. They kiss and they make up okay by makeup i mean she gonna be late to meet jordan (laughs) because she gotta redo her makeup because they was he was putting it in okay 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 (laughs) okay go ahead next scene um alicia and our dude are having dinner she's quite dolled up for him yes she is right (laughs) every time we talk about (laughs) we have to talk in the accent (laughs) And so they're having I mean. dinner and they're talking about um having a quick little a healthy debate about R. <laughs> Kelly. All right, well my question is this. Why is it we so quick to burn him at the stake? Hmm? You hear a few stories from questionable sources at best. And suddenly it's like all oh, of the great art R. Kelly gave us just doesn't matter anymore. I didn't say anything about his work. I love TP2.com just as much as the next person. <laughs> but the art has to be separated from the artist. You can still step in the name of love. Without defending his sickness. But, um, so yeah, they can have a heated discussion, which I always appreciate about Tough Love. They always talk about, like, Issues. topics that's happening right, right right now. Um, and really gets a good, a, um, discussion going. Yeah. So, he sees, um, this black woman come in, and he starts acting weird. So, at least like, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. And he says, he, she peeps the woman, too, and she's like, are you, are you hiding from her? Yes. Like, what's up? He's like, yeah. So I haven't on, I haven't been honest with you, but <laughs> that woman over there that just walked in, she's actually my fiance. I said I can't deal. I can't deal. I cannot deal. I cannot deal. Like, uh, first, of, well, let me just. I, I don't think I ever really had a good feeling about Art Dude because every time, like she said, every time he hits her up is about sex. So it's like um, I feel like night, it was yeah. never really like I'm trying to have a relationship with you. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think a, a whole fiance on him. Right. And like, he's like, crazy. and we should probably leave because she's crazy. What? I'm not. So Alicia's like, all right, you know what? I'm going to bounce. Yeah, because I don't have time for this drama. You're going to stay. Leave with whatever you want to do. Um, and delete my number. Delete my number. Do not call me. Do not text me. Don't That's think it. of me. Don't, don't do nothing. Nothing. So <clears throat> she's walking out and she stops. She's like, nah, he's not getting off this Mm-mm, easy. Mm-mm. I gotta tell my sis. I gotta tell my woman fellow sister to right woman here. right here. I have to let her know what's going on. Okay. So she tells the fiance everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was over my house the other night. And um, yeah, we've been doing this for a couple months. Yeah. hmm So do what you want with that information. <laughs> Peace. Peace out. Good luck with everything. Wish you the best of luck. <laughs> So the fiance and a homegirl right behind her. That's Rolled a true friend. Up. Roll the die. Roll the die. Ride a die friend right there. Right, because she wasn't up. talking to her, but she said, I'm she, coming I, too. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> Back up. Okay. Um, and then he couldn't have the nerve to lie. Oh, that was my cousin. I know your family. Right. I'm about to marry into this family. <laughs> I know everyone. I you know tried who, it. What are you talking about? Come on. Whatever. And why, why wasn't I invited to meet your family? <laughs> Why was I invited to this dinner if it was just your cousin? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. What was the accent? <laughs> I don't know. Just your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so she throws food on him and everything, and she's like, "This is this is over." Yeah, don't even think about it. So Quincy's at home. I believe Doing he's, research. He's the only one at home at this point. He's working on the whole YouTube thing and to monetize. You know, he's, he keeps getting all these hits from Twitter. People basically calling him a loser. For, you know, his views. Mm-hmm. And he gets a message from Darius. I said, hey, how, Sway? How he get access to this? I said, who gave Darius a phone? Who gave him a burner phone? Who? Who gave Darius a phone? Who? Ain't, you you ain't know nobody. he only hitting you up because he wants you to go check on Monica. Hey, uh, did you talk to Monica? <laughs> what did she say? Did, did she say hi back? <laughs> it's 
Quincy's like, how are you on Facebook right now? How? What is this about? <laughs> he probably be, he, I'm, he probably going to be like, I heard y'all about the vlog. Can I be down? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're at the jazz show. Um, and Monica and uh, Jordan. Jordan are, you know, laughing about the tweets. Because they're still coming. They're still coming. But I like that Monica's able to laugh at it now. Because before she was like, oh, what are people saying? <laughs> but now she's like, oh, She's laughing about it. Mm-hmm. So she tells Jordan, she puts Jordan on about everything that's going on with Jason and how it's hard for her to trust him because of everything that happened with um, Darius. Mm-hmm. And even Jordan admits that Jason is a good guy, which was a big step for her because she, <laughs> she, she thinks every guy is trash. Right. Every single one. Right. So for, if Jordan's saying your guy is a good dude, then you better keep him. She approved. So she tells Monica um, words, some words of encouragement, like you're a gorgeous girl, but listen, Jason's with you for more than just your looks. Like, And more importantly, he's not Darius. That's You need to get that in your head. Mm-hmm. That's it. So then we see real quick um, Jackson consoling his mother. Yeah, they're crying over the yeah. loss of his dad. Which was, it was sad to see because, you know, Jackson's mom, this is all that she had. Yeah. Like, because, first of all, Jackson barely comes around. Right. She, like, stopped her life to take care of, of the dad. For him to not be here, it's like, wow, I really have nobody right now. hmm So that was very emotional. It was. So sorry. Um, go ahead. So Uber Bay is finally performing, and Monica's like, girl, I see why we here. I see why. I Thank said, you, girl. girl. I've been waiting to come on the stage, girl. <laughs> and Jordan's like, stop gassing it. I'm like, girl, she's not. He's she's fine. Not. She's <laughs> actually being very accurate about what's happening on the stage right now. Um, and then he invites um, Amarion to come up and perform. Amarion. <laughs> Look like a Mario. I'm done. I'm so. Done. Did he not look like a Mario? No, he looked yes, like a Mario. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He looked like a Mario. You annoying. <laughs> a Mario came up. He performs with him. Um. So Alicia's in her Uber, and she's like, "You know what? Let me get this vlog thing going because I got I got to get them stuff off my chest right now." Okay. So she basically vents about her night because she's fed up with what just happened. Like, she can't fathom it. Like, I really went out with this guy and he's married. Like, I don't understand how a man can agree to a lifetime with a woman and then so cold-heartedly go out and stick his tongue in someone else. What type of scum are you? Have you no decency? Have you no conscience? Have you no respect? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And that's a valid question. You see it way too often. These married guys, these yeah. fianced guys. Fianced? Fianced. <laughs> what? <laughs> you out here doing whatever. Mm-hmm. It don't mean nothing. That's crazy. So, But as soon as she started recording, I said, if she's really going to sit here and send this to Quincy, she is really bold, savage, okay? She's on another level. That's that. I ain't even mad, but that's crazy if she send that. So yeah. go ahead. So after the performance, Uber Bay, Jordan, and Monica, you know, they're having a drink. He's thanking her for coming out. And, you know, he also says she he was surprised that she actually came. So, you know, they're flirting. But I'm surpri- I was surprised, too, because I wanted him to be like, because you're me. That's why I thought you wasn't coming, because she was like, why? You're, you're, you were mean to me. But it was free. And she- I mean, come on. Come on. And she loves jazz. That's what she, that was her yeah. answer, trying to be mm-hmm. cute. Um, so then his his friend comes over and he's like, he looked like he was in love with Jordan too. Of course. Yeah. He was like, oh, oh okay, <laughs> double date on him. I said, all right. And then he says, you know, I see who inspired that song. Mm-hmm. And Uber Bay looked at him like, boy, shut up. Right. Come on. <laughs> can't take Get you over here. Can't take you nowhere. So they have to go into the corner and quote unquote talk. Right. <laughs> And the bill comes, and, you know, Monica, she ready to split it, but Jordan's like, girl, I got this. You know, mm-hmm. you're about to go part-time, so, you know, right. this is on me. But when she opened the bill, it said, paid, can I take you on a date? So he getting brownie Oh, that's what it said? Like. I don't know, but either way. Go ahead. He getting brownie points regardless. <laughs> I'm loving it all, okay? If she don't date him, I'm jumping into the screen, and I'm dating him, okay? Because this is She loves jazz. I love some jazz on him, and he just being so romantic and I cute. I know. Like, stop it. Stop being so cute. <laughs> and mind you, Jordan, she just acting like she's not with it, but she know good and well she is with it. She's feeling every single moment. Oh, yeah. She want to act like she's fronting. 
That's what she do, though. She uh-huh. stays home. So Quincy is home. He's still talking with his pen pal, Darius, <laughs> a little bit. Um, and Alicia texts him like, hey, how about this be the first upload? I said, oop. She's out of control. Out of control. I said, she really don't care about his feelings now. First Which, thing you hear. So I just came from a date. Right. That's right. Alicia's dating now. <laughs> That wow. that was crazy. Like I, you know how we we be having our feelings about um, Quincy, but she really didn't care. She had to do that. She, she had to do him like that. You're in charge of the website, right? You want us to blog, right? <laughs> but it's just crazy. Like, why would you hesitate? He to, just asked you. He asked are you, you dating? So why someone? wouldn't you tell him that? And now you're just gonna blow, put this video in his face, like Alicia's dating, yep. and he has to be the one to upload that. He's that. He's like, oh, I didn't get it. It got lost. <laughs> It says red. I see that you got it. It won't play. (laughs) You can be like, YouTube shut it down. (laughs) They flagged it. (laughs) They flagged it. Yes. So that's how the episode ends. So let's get into the QCCs. We got a lot to say. We got a lot to talk about. Um, first of all, Alicia, congrats on reclaiming your time. <laughs> reclaiming her time. I couldn't be more proud of her, but girl, you out of line knowing damn well he don't want to see her mentioning she went on a date. Like, regardless if it was good or bad, like, that's crazy. Quincy can't handle this. No, he's going he's... to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he just might. <laughs> but it's interesting that she was the most skeptical about this whole vlogging yeah, thing. Yeah, she was the one. first one How about this? to send a video, so... But I think she would just in the moment. Yeah, in the moment. And that was perfect. Yeah. Because she needed something to, like, she needed to vent to somebody. And then watch, she's going to be like, all right, you know what? My answer is yes. He's like, I ain't dating you no more. You was out here dating, like, Alicia (laughs) dating. Watch, it's going to be back and forth, back and forth. It is, and she's going to be like, you were a thought. How many times do I have to tell you this? He's going to show up at her house. I saw the video. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think he's going to give it a silent treatment. Yeah, he will be immature. Because like he's that. been chasing her, like, give me answer, give me answer. And you're out here dating? After you're you just dating? Kissed me? After you, you're dating? <laughs> like, he's just like, not dating, dating? <laughs> he's not going to be able to fathom comprehend this. it. Mm-mm, no. Mm-mm. He's going to be, he's going to be so mad. And I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> he's so bad. Because think about how upset he got with something that happened in the past. Past. So you talking about something that's happening now in the present? Present? He's gonna he's gonna go berserk. Okay. Cray cray. He might hit him. He ain't that stupid. <laughs> he's not that he ain't crazy. that stupid. My next one is okay. So part of me feel like they are hyping up Uber Bay to be this perfect, amazing guy, and then next thing you know, he gonna be he gonna mess it up. Why he? Why you gonna do that to him? But a bigger part of me feel like he's the one. Oh yeah, I think he, I think she might mess it up, but she usually does. <laughs> it might be another, but it might be a combination. I feel like all right, season one, she messed it up with Keith. She had a good guy, Keith. Moment of silence for Keith. Okay. Okay. And in season two, she went back to her old ways. Um, didn't really, didn't really change nothing. <laughs> so now season three, I feel like we're gonna. Get a different side of Jordan, a, a Jordan in a relationship, in a full relationship. Mm-hmm. But it might be with Jackson. Oh. And this dress is cute. Hey, hey Verena. Dress hey, is real girl. cute in, this, in the jazz scene. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about um, Jordan and Jackson? Jordan and Jackson. And Uber Bay, the situation. Um, Yeah. She she might get close to him after she finds out, you know, about his dad passing. Oh, yeah. So they might get close from that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So he might, next episode, he might show up at ja- uh, Jordan's house. Like, I just need someone to talk to. Yeah. Because he, w- he was able to talk to her in the season finale. Mm-hmm. Talk to her about the situation. So he's going to go to her. They're going to have passionate sex, probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds In the right. moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we'll and, see. And um, that may cloud some uh, some judgment there. Some judgment, exactly, exactly. So that may affect Uber. What is Uber Bay's name? I think it's Drew. Really? No. Oh. I th- I don't know. I oh. think it's Drew. Did he ever say his name? Uber. Uber. 
Same as I don't Uber. think I don't think she ever last we name Bay. <laughs> Uber Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of Jackson, stop giving Quincy advice. Like, yeah. stop thinking you know Quincy's ex better than Quincy. Yeah. Like, just tell Quincy. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not. But good luck. It's not a bad thing to not know the answer. That's it. Because he's clearly not listening to you. Told him to give. <laughs> Alicia time, but he's hounding her. Yeah. So she, stop. Stop wasting your breath. <laughs> he don't Just listen. <laughs> he don't listen. <laughs> so it doesn't work. No. Um, Monica and Jason. Monica, she's going to mess it up <laughs> because Jason, he's legit a good guy. He's and a good dude right there. He is a good dude. He's trying to take care of you and your dreams, okay? All right. And you he keep working. Like, even though Darius and Jason might look alike a little bit, they're not the same person. Mm-hmm. They're not the mm-hmm. same person. Mm-hmm. So you can just keep, um, what's the word? Acting Comparing. <laughs> Aside from acting a fool, she was kind of showing out. Them. She was acting a fool at the embarrassing at the, um, him at the photo shoot. Like the girl. boy is working, and like I said, that's why I pointed out like his behavior. Like he wasn't like, oh, babe, babe, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like, he wasn't hiding. He anything. knew you were coming. He kissed you on the lips. He like came it, it was no hiding. You. It was yeah. no hiding. Like I, you're my woman, right? And Let you're mad because you. this woman that he. Do you want him to always be like, I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Right? Like, no. He's not gonna say, okay, so the stock in this thing. Oh, oh my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Um and, so uh, business we have projections. A, I have a girlfriend. Um <laughs> <laughs> No. Her name is Monica. Um <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're not gonna do that. Right. When it's none of her business. As do the people be. at your job know you got a man? Well, they probably do. No. Does that her little co-workers do? I don't know. I don't know, because she never working. <laughs> so she probably always talking about her man. Always on her phone. <laughs> complaining about having a job hello <laughs> mm. um all right so let's get into some youtube comments okay the first one is from k rose um she says oh my god this is my crack this show gives me such a high jason you winning in life i'm so team jason and jordan i'm gonna say this every episode you better treat my mcm right okay and yes <laughs> and say yes to the date girl great job cast okay i'm 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 team jason i agree with this 100 percent. i'm team jason i'm team that's my mce too girl yes um tanisha barrett says great episode i swear i'm hooked i enjoyed this web series so much I really hope Monica sticks with Jason. He's a good guy. And Darius is a hot mess. Laughing emojis. Jordan actually looks really happy. And Alicia is just having her fun right now. Wonder if she'll consider Quincy after that incident at the restaurant. So sorry for Jackson and his mom. All facts. Yeah, I mean, this season, this episode, Jordan actually was smiling. Yeah, she knows what that is. (laughs) Which we questioned last episode. (laughs) Like, does she know how to smile? So that was nice to see. Mm-hmm. Mavis Navojo on YouTube says, Alicia, why are you messing with this little boy Quincy's feelings? Gotta put the little boy in little front of that. Boy. Please let him out. Please, what? Please, let, Please him let him out of his misery. I'm tired of seeing him whine like a baby. Monica, you're dating a grown man, so please mature fast. Jordan, I just love this girl. <laughs> All facts. Seriously. Like, Alicia, like I said, Alicia needs to just tell him straight up, but I guess you don't know. Because she is confusing him. Like, my thing was, like, all right, it's, like, springtime now, right? So it's been a few months since they've seen each other. Mm -hmm. So the last episode, you know, she seemed like she didn't want to be anywhere near him. And then after he asked her, you know, are you seeing someone? Tell me if it's yes or no. He asked for a kiss, and she just willingly gave it to him. So it's like, oh, y'all still messing around? like. And then the fact how last season ended, they had sex Mm -hmm. after not talking for whatever. Like, he treated her so bad, then he got sex. So he's like, oh, so she forgive me. Yeah. So you're giving him mixed signals. She shouldn't have done that. you're just playing with him right now. I mean, because she's confused. She wants to be mad, but she wants to love him, which is, she's all messed up in the game. Yeah. And she don't really want to talk about her feelings just yet. Mm -hmm. Like. Oh, it's confusing. It's a confusing and Monica, space. She is dating a grown man, so she needs to get with the program. <laughs> get with the program. He's gonna be like, I'm out. Yeah, because this is gonna be exhausting. You're constantly comparing him to this guy. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, he's comparing him yeah. to this guy. So that's why Monica was like, Darius is in our relationship. He's the third wheel. He like, is. He's, he's just ruining things. Mm-hmm. 
gonna be messy. It's gonna be messy. Um, outspoken diva. Hey girl. She hey said, girl. Hey girl. She says, "Well, well, Quincy, Alicia's dating." Um, now post the video. Dre, Dre is looking great, but I'm still cheering for Jordan and Jackson storyline. So his name is Dre. Uber <laughs> Bay name is Dre. We're gonna take the W off of Drew. <laughs> gonna leave that at Dre. Dre. Okay. Yeah, he is looking good. Yeah. Um, but I'm not cheering for Jordan and Jackson. Yeah, I don't. I don't I think I'm. That. I don't think I'm Team Jordan and Jackson. Nah. If they do get together, I won't be like, oh, oh, I won't be crying about it. But I'll just be like, oh. Okay. I guess. I guess. Because you can tell there's chemistry there. You can yeah. see it. You can see it. Um, speaking of Fashion 23 Houses to Go says, so are Jackson and Jordan going to eventually hook up again? And I hope Alicia and Quincy stay away from each other for good. Their relationship will always be toxic because neither knows how to be honest with each other or how to set boundaries in their relationship. Yeah, we just talked about it. Yeah. They're mixing. It's too many blurred lines. Too many at this point, yeah. It's uh, draining. It is. It's exhausting. It sure is. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even in the relationship, and, and I'm, I'm tired. tired of seeing this. <laughs> Give him the answer, girl. And move on or get with him. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, last look, one. No lie. Oh. If she was to see him dating someone else, she would get upset all yeah. over again. So, girl. Come on. Be with him or not. That's it. Um, Garfield Radigan, um, says we're in an age that good guys aren't appreciated by women anymore. They like the dog treatment. Then they wonder why they're single. Shake my head. Good guys are endangered species. Treasure them. That is facts. Uh, Yes. Not so much the dog treatment, but we always expecting... We want to know what's up before we like fully. I admit it. I admit, it. I'll admit it. I don't like. I don't like bad guys. Like people like, oh, you know, good. You don't, girls only like bad guys. But it's like I. I just have my questions. Mm-hmm. But a lot. Some girls do like bad guys because they want to change them into a good guy. their guy. But my thing with me, if a guy treating me like too good, I always feel like they have ulterior motives sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. or it's all an act just so you can. You know, get me to like you, get me to fall for you, and then treat me like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> they be actors out here. They sure do. <laughs> actors for life. Off screen and on screen. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't take this anymore. But that's why we got to love tough love. It's so relatable, and it's good content, good actors. <laughs> And everything as that. So, as usual, guys, email us at seriouslypodcast at gmail.com or on our website, Seriously Podcast. Drop a QCC there. Join the mailing list. Do what it do. Mm-hmm. Follow us on all social media platforms. Um, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. iTunes. Yes. SoundCloud. Stitcher. Google Play. All of it. All the above. And um, live tweet with us when the next um, Tough Love episode drops. We'll be live tweeting. We usually do. Mm-hmm. Um, so ser- tweet us um, at Seriously Podcast and use the hashtag Seriously Recap. And we'll read your tweets on the next episode. So- All right, guys. <clears throat> thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. And bye. Peace to you. Bye. Bye, y'all.